everyone. Today we have a powerful story about what faith is and what it isn't. The disciples brought the boy to Jesus, and when the Spirit saw him, it immediately threw the boy into a fit. He fell on the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked his father, how long has this been going on? He said, since he was a child. He's often thrown him into a fire, into water, trying to kill him. If you can do anything, help us. Show us some compassion. Jesus said to him, if I can do anything, all things are possible for the one who has faith. At that, the boy's father cried out, I have faith. Help my lack of faith. Noticing that the crowd had come running together, Jesus spoke harshly to the unclean spirit. Mute and deaf spirit, I command you to come out of him and never enter him again. After screaming and shaking the boy horribly, the spirit came out. The boy seemed to be dead. In fact, several people said that he had died. But Jesus took his hand, lifted him up, and he arose. Do you believe in God or not? Do you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord or do you deny it? Uh, it's a simple question. Yes or no. Right? That's usually how we present these sorts of things, don't we? But is that how belief really works? In one of uh, my favorite gospel stories, we see that faith isn't always so black and white. We have a father who is distraught at the suffering of his young son. If you have a kid who's been sick, or especially one who struggles with a, a chronic illness, you probably understand what he's going through. And so he comes to Jesus almost as a last resort. Can't you do anything? And then I really kind of struggle with Jesus' tone here. I don't know what he's how he's saying this. Is he mad at this father's lack of faith? Or is he encouraging to look deeper, even in this darkest moment? Don't you have any faith? Jesus seems to ask. And the father's response is, well, I do and I don't. I believe. Help my unbelief. I have faith. Help when my faith is lacking. What we see is that faith is less of an either or. It's more of a sliding scale. It has an ebb and flow. Some days it's strong, and some days it's weak. I'm pretty sure this is true for most of us, if we're willing to admit it. I know it's true for me, at least. And that may not seem like it's enough. It may not seem like that's the kind of faith that we have to have, or that God desires. But what we see here is that even that kind of faith is enough for Jesus. The desire for faith is an act of faith. And Jesus will honor it and reach out his hand. And in these moments of weak faith, it, we may feel like something in us has died. A loss of connection, a loss of community. But even there, Jesus can raise us to new life.